so today I kind of wanted to do a mini haul slash review of some of the products that I have bought and tried. Um, a while back I had went to Sephora because I had gotten a gift card for my birthday and I bought a few things from there and I did a video on it but I didn't finish the video because I wasn't feeling well so um, I'll actually play the video right now. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I stopped at Sephora after work today and picked up a couple things and I thought I'd just show them to you guys and also give a little mini rant about my experience. Uh, so the first thing that I got from Sephora is the, well it was for my birthday so they gave me a choice between a Marc Jacobs, I think it was a lipstick and like an eyeliner or the fresh uh, soy face cleanser and rose face mask so of course I went for the mask and the cleanser and so it came in this and then this is the cleanser and this is the little mini face mask uh, I'm looking for a new cleanser so I'm gonna try this out and if I like it then I'll buy the bigger bottle and then for the face mask you can never have enough face masks so I just thought it would be cool to try it it seems like it would be really gentle as well since it's made out of rose petals yeah and then the next thing i got was the sephora bright future gel serum concealer and i've been eyeing this concealer for a while i've been running out of my la girl fawn concealer and i wanted to try something else so this said it was brightening and i remember i had one before that was a brightening concealer and i really really liked it a lot so I wanted to try this and definitely see if it could help me with the dark circles under my eye. So I did just swatch it already. It looks like this, by the way. And I was I was kind of stuck between getting the color toffee and the color cream caramel. A lot of women on YouTube that are of my complexion, they went for toffee, but when I went to try it out, I found that toffee was just a bit too close to my skin color and I wanted a real bright, under eye highlight so I went for the cream caramel instead and it's the number 13 so this on this on the right is the Sephora concealer and then this one is Fawn so the darker one is Fawn and I don't know if you can see that so it's not that much off they're both yellow undertones which is what I really really like I do see that the Sephora one is uh, two shades are so lighter but I still like it and of course I can always blend it in with my foundation if it's too light so and then the other thing I got was the Tarte Lip Tees palette and I got this only because I was looking for the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and I went into the store and they didn't have any in stock and then I they also checked the store that was closest to their location and they didn't have any as well they only have them online which is my dilemma because I got a gift card for my birthday for Sephora so I went online and I was like putting stuff in my card and whatnot everything that I wanted to try and then when I go to check out it says that it doesn't accept the gift card online so I'm just like what the hell is that like I don't I don't like shopping in stores which is why I asked for gift cards because I like to do my shopping online you know you take your time and you can kind of see what you're getting whereas in stores I find that especially like at makeup stores it's always packed people are always on top of the makeup and you can never get to what you really want to see so I was really bummed about that and especially I found that a lot of the promotions that they had or even the deals the samples and stuff like that the good ones were only online so and in stores they didn't really even have I think there was only one uh, sample deal that they had that was in store and that one I go in store and so I buy my stuff and then of course online if you purchase over $25 they give you something for free they didn't do that and then um, they also give you three free samples online and they say of course you get them in store as well didn't get those either and the funny thing was like I was asking the yeah so in that video I had um, reviewed a cleanser well I had showed you guys a cleanser and face mask that I had gotten for my birthday as well as a brightening concealer and an eyeshadow and so far the face mask and the cleanser is whatever I don't use it every day I probably should like I'm gonna try to use it every day just to see if it actually works because if it does I'll buy the bigger bottles and for the under eye concealer 
originally I hated it. Um, the thing that the reason was because I had put it over my makeup because that's how I saw a lot of people on YouTube do it. And it just kind of, it dried really quickly and it, it was so hard to blend so I did not like it. But then one day, out of curiosity, I just decided to put it under my foundation so on my bare skin and I absolutely love it. And the thing is, it is a thinner consistency and because it dries really quickly on the skin itself, it's perfect. Sometimes I actually wear it without makeup. Um, if I ever do a get ready with me, I'll actually incorporate it in the video so you guys can see, but it works wonders at covering um, under eye circles and dark marks because I have a lot of those because I don't sleep that well. Um, yeah, it does a really good job of covering those and sometimes if I'm lazy and I don't want to put on makeup, all I do is just put it on and sometimes I'll dust powder over it just to make it more seamless, but it definitely works well. Yeah, so this is it right here. It's the Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer from Sephora itself, and I really love it. I definitely, <coughs> excuse me, I love the color that I got it in. I definitely think that it was a smart decision for me to get it in the caramel, cream caramel, just because it does give it a really bright effect instead of getting something close to my skin color. Like, it definitely makes me look more awake if that makes any sense. Then, of course, I had gotten the Tarte Tease Palette. So it was basically, it was basically um, six shades or six colors. And to be honest, I'm so underwhelmed. And I'm really happy that it was on sale and I only bought it for $24. I guess I kind of know why it was on sale. It's very chalky. They say that it's made with um, Amazonian clay, but I just... I did not like it. I thought when I saw clay, I thought that it would look like uh, like the Milani clay formula, like really like smooth, but it sticks on. This gives me so much fallout, like, and the color payoff is bad, like really, really bad. The light colors on it, the lighter shades come off really ashy on me, and then I, I mostly use it on my brow bone, but it really doesn't give me a really nice effect and then the other colors I use on my lid and the darker colors I use as on my crease and I could definitely live without this palette like funny enough the palettes that I bought from the drugstore are way better than this so uh, I'll just use it because I have it but I was not impressed today I went back to Sephora to pick up some more stuff just because I had a couple dollars left on my gift card so I was just like okay well there are a few things that I wanted to try, so I went back in there to get the rest of them. So the first thing I have is a gel liner brush. A gel liner... A gel liner brush. And I got it because I bought the Anastasia... Well, I guess I should have started with this first. I bought the Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color Pot. Um, the, uh, it says that it's good for like eye, like an eyeshadow base or as a gel liner. I bought it to be a gel liner. I don't see myself using it as an eyeshadow base, but it looks like this. And I initially went in for the Tarte um, gel liner that's in the tube, but they were sold out. The guy that helped me said that this is very comparable and this is a really great product. So I decided to give it a try. Like. I've heard a lot of good things about Anastasia's uh, gel liner, so hopefully this is good. And then he also recommended a brush to me. I, I was gonna get the angled thin brush, but he said unless you have experience in doing your gel liner, it would probably be better just to get like an angled eyeliner brush. So of course I got the Sephora uh, Pro Angled Liner Brush, number 22, I guess. Um, and it looks like this. Brush and it's very very thin, so I'm happy about that because I was worried that it was gonna be fat, and I told him I don't have enough thin space, so I need my liners to look really small and crisp and precise because I don't have that much room to be playing around with on my eye. But yeah, and I really liked it. Oh, the Anastasia gel liner I believe was about 24, 22 or 24 dollars, and then this was. $20, which I did not know for some reason I thought it was like $10 until like after I looked at my receipt and I was like oh my god I paid $20 for this and funny enough 
I had looked at the receipt and then I tried to find this in the bag and I could not find it and I was just like, yo, like, if they forgot to put this thing in my bag, like, I'm about to go back in there and be like, I need the brush and then if they make a scene, then I'm gonna have to get crazy, so, but it actually just fell under my car seat, so I was so happy because I was ready to cry because $20 for a brush and I didn't get to use it, like, nah, we're not about that life. Then I got the, um, professional um, primer I heard a lot about this primer and I wanted to give it a try because I really do need a more heavy beauty primer I love my Avon proud I love my Avon primer but I find that for the amount of time that I need to be wearing my primer for it doesn't last and I'm out of my house for 12 hours out of the day sometimes more and the, my regular Avon primer it's good for the first couple hours but then after that like my makeup starts to fade away and stuff and I hate that like I need my makeup to look almost like it did when I put it on in the morning so this was recommended to me and then this is the thing that pissed me off so I spent like 60 something dollars why, why, why they gave me this one little sample thing like that was the other thing that I started saying in my other video before it cut out but like when I went in last time and this time it's like the reason why I like going online to buy the stuff is because you get a lot of free samples and then you get to decide which ones you want because sometimes when you get the free samples, there are products that you probably would have never thought to buy but then when you try them out, you actually like them or you try them out, you see you don't like them so you don't spend the money. So it's just like whenever you go in and they act so stingy with the product, like they're taking it home. Maybe they are, but I'm just like, bro, like I spent over 60 something dollars in here and like I always come in to spend money and like you're not about to give me some new products to try to so that I can actually come back and spend more money like I don't understand like the first time I had to remind the girl and then like she acted like she didn't know what I was talking about which I was just like no I'm not about to like there was already a line behind me so I was just like I'm not about to hold up the line asking for a free sample but that just irked me and today she did give me one without prompting but I was just like first of all she just put something in my bag and I was just like do I not get a choice like you just put it in my bag and like what if it's not even for my skin tone or anything that I would care to use like you don't ask and then you give me one when I know in stores they say that you can get three as well so I didn't make a big deal about it but that again is another reason why I will solely shop online well mostly online uh, sometimes I'll go in because there are certain products that you just have to try in person but even if I have to go in the store to try it out then buy it online and get my free samples and my points and everything like that I'll do that because I'm not trying to screw with them oh and there was this this guy in there that actually helped me his name was Daniel he was fabulous like he answered all my dumb questions like whenever I go into places like that I always feel nervous asking questions because I think like they're probably like girl like what what do you not know what makeup is so like he was so helpful and he answered all my questions and he even like initiated giving me the free step or the tester stuff like I didn't even ask him he was the one that was just like don't worry I'll give you a test you can try it come back let me know how it worked and we can you know try to figure things out for you so thank you so much Daniel and then there was another gentleman that helped me but I don't remember his name because he just came to start helping me and then he referred me to Daniel because he was like oh he knows more about these products than I do so Funny enough, sorry, I'm talking a lot. No, I didn't have coffee. But funny enough, I find that the guys were so much more helpful than the girls. Like the girls, when you walk in there, they like stare at you, and it's just like I understand when they give you space, but like when you see me like looking like a chicken with my head cut off, and I know it's really obvious because you are staring at me like, is she okay? Like clearly I'm not okay. So why don't you come and ask me? Do you want some help? The worst I can tell you is no, I'm good. But you just won't stand there, and then I have to go up to you and be like, excuse me, can I get some help? And then you're like, oh, I'm gonna call someone for you, but nobody ever shows up so I gotta go running after sales people like yeah that's why I don't like shopping in stores like I just rather do my shit online if it doesn't work I'll return it in store but yeah that was all that I got from Sephora but I have a lot of a few other things that I have bought makeup related that I wanted to show you guys the, the first thing is this bronzer and funny enough I got it from Sally's like I was just going in there looking around um, and I saw this and I just really really liked it like it's just very a very golden subtle bronzer like yeah I'm sorry my lights are bright I probably should turn them down but whatever um, yeah so it's a very subtle bronze color and I was really looking for a bronzer slash highlighter that I can well it's a highlighter on my skin tone anyways 
it I wanted one that I can wear in the winter that's not like you know just headlights on you you know just something really subtle that gives me a little golden goddess vibe in the winter time so this is definitely a good one like I have it on right now and like I actually put it on before I sprayed my spray so this is what the effects of that is I even put it down the bridge of my nose my chin my forehead so Sally is good looking out and this was like a no more than $10 I don't think or maybe it was $14 then I had gotten this from a friend um, they had gotten it in their Sephora goodie bag or something um, and it's the Goulue G-O-U-L-U-E Goulue uh, maybe it's French I don't know or Goulue but <laughs> I think it's Goulue it sounds better anyways and this is kind of just like a mini blush which is very understated right here so I think it's a very great color for people who are into blushes or who are scared off by blushes but this is just a very understated like plum pinkish color so I have it on today and like you can't really tell that I have it on so I really like this this will definitely be my everyday blush for the winter time because you know in the winter time you want to give yourself like a flush of color on your cheeks because it's winter you get cold you know so it's yeah I like it a lot so I've been using it quite a lot since fall has started oh the real techniques <laughs> beauty sponge uh, I heard a lot of people review this and a lot of people say it's comparable to the beauty blender or it's just almost as good or whatever I wasn't trying to spend no $25 $30 on a beauty blender that don't make no sense so I went to my Rexall and I was just looking around and I saw this like I wasn't even looking for this um, I saw it in the Rexall and it was like 10 bucks so I was just like I, yes I will take this like it was 10 bucks so either way I'm not losing you know but I really like it like I just love how the surface areas are just all of it is useful like I use this part for like fatter areas when I'm trying to put on foundation or something and then I'll use these parts for my under eye and then of course my contour is dirty because I did my makeup with it but can y'all see how soft that is and like I'm barely pressing on it and like you can tell when you buy one of those imitation beauty blenders they're always so stiff and rubbery and this just like it's so soft like I really love it like it it applies my makeup really seamlessly so I'm very happy with the $10 that I spent on this and then uh, this the NYX lingerie no lingerie in beauty mark yes beauty mark I have it on right now I guess my lights are really on right so it doesn't do it any justice but I freaking love it like this is now my everyday nude like this is what a black girl's nude looks like honey like and I don't even have on a lip liner like that's it that's how you know it's a true nude for your skin tone is when you don't need a lip liner and you just smack that bad boy on like and then <laughs> I was just in the store and then I saw this and I saw a lot of people rave about it for um, their frontals I have the got to be glued gel and I see a lot of people pair it with this to make sure that you know your helmet stays on secure your baby hairs are laid and you don't have to worry about it so I bought it and I'll definitely start using it to see how it works and hopefully it works well but either way I got it for like six bucks so no harm yeah so that was what I got today well that, that was just my little mini haul slash review of certain products. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me and I'll answer them for you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very chill and laid back, you know. Uh, just trying to get used to my new setup. This is like one of the backdrops that I bought, but it's really shiny. And it's giving me a lot of flashback from my light. So, I don't know about it. I might not use it we'll see how the video comes out i kind of do like it because it does give you like this holographic psychedelic feel but eh, i don't know we'll see uh if you guys have any comments about it just let me know does it work does it not do you like it and of course my new lighting like right now it's 10 p.m and i'm able to film okay like yes 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 like this is what i wanted like during the day sometimes I don't feel like filming and then when I come home at night like I want to film but it's too dark to film so I'm very happy that I can film at night when I want to or anytime so you guys will definitely be getting more videos so until next time I'll talk to you guys later and have a good one bye